Okay, welcome back. We've got Thursday Thunder here, just about to start, and it could be a bit of a risky strategy, but you know what? I'm just not going to feature Kevin Nash, and I'm not going to feature Goldberg, because I don't need them in this episode, and there's just no point in sticking them on every single episode just to try and keep them happy. It's not working, so um, obviously there's, there's no point in carrying that on. So now that's out of the way, we've got a bit of a lame main event um, here. I just wanted to get Scott Steiner in with someone. Um, and, you know, I picked Sandman. I think it will be okay, get Scott Steiner over a bit. Then afterwards, Kurt Hennig can come and uh, brawl with Steiner. just didn't want to stick Kurt Hennig there now because I want the fans to sort of... I want to keep that element of mystery there. Um, between those two. So we're going to kick things off. Uh, West Hollywood Blondes making the first appearances of the month. And they're going to beat Chavo and Juvi. Uh, all the segments, Chris Canyon um, is going to be feuding with Big Vito. They had a brilliant match on Nitro, so they deserve a feud. Um, Jeff Jarrett and Hulk Hogan are going to be um, giving, it, giving each other some lip after their confrontation on Nitro. Um, Sorry, confrontation on um, on showdown and then um, last episode, um, something happened between them. I can't remember what. Um, but there we go. Uh, Road Warriors are going to be the new tag champs because we want to free for tag titles from the Marmalukes if Big Vito is going to be feuding with um, Chris Canyon. Sorry, Johnny for Bull. Um, it's a bit harsh on him, but there we go. And the other teams involved here are Chronic, Jindrak O'Hare, and um, of course, Road Warriors who are the new champs. Uh, we've not had one of these yet. Backstage attacks, Sean Stasiak, uh, cementing his place as the heel in this feud. He's going to attack Sting. Jamie Noble's going to retain his Cruiserweight title over Juventud Guerrera. I've just noticed Chavo and Juvie are going to be appearing twice, so I need to alter that. Good job I noticed. Uh, Lance Storm uh, saying he's coming for Shane Douglas next after win winning the US title on Nitro. Uh, Lance Storm and Just Incredible are going to be Air Raid and uh, Scott Steiner is going to be Sandman so West Hollywood Blondes let's do Chavo and Kidman that's a better match so apologies for this Lenny and Lodi they got over very quickly and um, they probably earned themselves a match at Starcade. Lenny and Lodi and um, Billy Kidman and Chavo Filthy Animals 2001. Let's have Lenny B and Billy Kidman. Cheating. Okay. Put on a good match. So now we are ready to start our show. Bit worried about the main event actually, but there wasn't really anyone else available that was appropriate, I don't think. Um anyway, good opener there. We always know we're gonna get a good match with these involved. Chris Canyon, Big Vito start the feud. That went well for Canyon. For Cat and Ray Mysterio, I forgot to mention that. Uh, it is a nothing match and um it did okay, but that's that's about it. The cat is losing overness because of his weak gimmick. That's disappointing. He's only just changed his gimmick as well. Uh, Jeff Jarrett, that did well at interview segments. Uh, new tag titles. Johnny for Bull debuted as his new gimmick. It got a positive response, but it's a bit uh, meaningless now, isn't it? Because uh, he's lost for the tag title. Anyway, Sting, Sean Stasiak, for fans, seem to have brought into that. Bought into that, rather. Juventud Guerrero, Jamie Noble, always guaranteed a good, solid cruiserweight match. Uh, Lance Storm, that went down well. This went down well, and it is a feud I would have liked if um, Lance Storm wasn't so over. Um, it would have been a great feud for them. Um, AJ Styles obviously loves working with Lance Storm, and possibly... If Lance Storm keeps his US title after Starcade, he can face uh, AJ Styles early next year. 
um, maybe get them feuding. Hulk Hogan backstage, obviously he's a bit more over than Jarrett at the moment, and the fans love that, and he's a heel, so it's worked out well. And Scott Steiner Sandman, surprisingly quite good, um, paid off 74%, a good, solid show. Let's have a look at our mail. Um, quite average rating there, 7,500 people attended, made money. Sandman was working stiffly. Oh, Lance Storm, I think you might be pushing me too high up the card. That is why I don't like uh, pushing up guys to main event too soon. I was trying to keep him happy. He's gone down to 85. Sorry, Lance. Alter down. And his morale's gone down to five from nine. Well, you asked me to put you down, you absolute idiot. Um, there we go. He's over by 85. Is Shane Douglas about 84? So, no, he's gone up. So he's actually as over as Lance Storm currently. In fact, AJ Styles is more over than Lance Storm, which is crazy. And let's have a quick look. What's Jeff Jarrett? He's up to 98 and Hulk Hogan, 98. Mega. Absolutely mega. Uh, that feud there. So is there any point looking at unhappy workers now? I mean, it's just crazy, isn't it? Oh, Lodi should be higher up the card. We'll sort that out. Oh, yeah, he's his lower mid-carder and he's over 82. He's gone up again. And Lenny's gone up to 80. Every time these guys appear, they go up in Overness. They're going to be world champions soon. Maybe not. But um, certainly been good. I'm glad I'm getting pushed up the card. Right, okay, cool. So that pretty much concludes this show. Um, we'll be back next time for a showdown. And... Um, yeah, just building up these feuds leading to Starcade, which is on the 31st of December. Um, I'm hoping it'll be epic. And I am wondering whether next month, for Sin, we're in 2002, should we have a Royal Rumble with the winner fighting for world champion at Super Brawl? So, you know, it's, it won't be on the same night, I don't think, as um, WWF's one. I think it could go down pretty well, actually. But uh, let's get Starcade out of the way first and see what happens. So leave it there and see you all soon.